All right, it's Jake Makes with another golf tip using Tai Chi. And this lesson is very important because this particular Tai Chi skill will be one that we can apply toward every single facet of your golf game. Whether you have a traditional swing, whether you have a more modern swing, no matter what you're doing, you can use the Tai Chi meditation and breathing techniques to improve your game. And in this particular video, we're gonna talk about counting the seconds it takes you to breathe. Are you ready? So in the beginning, we're gonna have a good solid stance. We're gonna roll the shoulders back and drop them so that our entire weight is rested on the skeleton. And we're gonna feel this bend in our knees happen. From the side, my hips are kind of, they're not forced out too much. They're kind of in a natural position. My chest is what we call hollowed. So it's not caved in, it's hollowed out. And my chin is tucked slightly in order to make my neck a little bit straighter. And all I want you to do is breathe in for three seconds, breathe out for three seconds. So this is one of our internal qigong postures, which means a softer qigong posture. And we're gonna just breathe in and we're gonna count. One, two, three, breathe out. One, two, three. So at home there, I want you to just do your meditation, breathing in your nose, breathing out your mouth, and we're always breathing to the lower belly. So when we breathe in, the lower belly expands. When we breathe out, it contracts. I'm gonna count for you, you ready? So from this position, bend the knees. One, inhale, two, three, exhale. One, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale. One, two, three. Again, two more. Breathe in, two, three, breathe out. One, close your eyes, two, three. And the only thing you're focused on is my count. One, two, inhale, three, exhale. One, two, three. So I use between a three to five second inhale and exhale when I'm training my Qigong or my Tai Chi on my own. But now on the course, we can't breathe that slowly during the shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adapt it a little bit and make it faster so it pretty much, so that the count pretty much is able to be applied toward the full shot. So when we're gonna have our stance, I'm gonna go only a two second count. So in, two, out. It becomes very smooth. And you're just gonna do on your own before your round, maybe an hour before you go to the course, 10 times. In, out. In, out. Okay, here's some important details, okay? Notice how my lips stay slightly parted the whole time. In, out. Again, watch them. I'm controlling my breathing by using my tongue as a valve. So when my tongue presses very lightly to the roof of my mouth, like this, I breathe in my nose. When the tongue drops, I breathe out my mouth. Watch again. Again. Okay, back to our Qigong posture. In, close your eyes, out. In, out. One more. I heard Michael Jordan somewhere in some interview before talking about how he would relax his entire body by controlling the relaxation in his jaw. So this might be one way you can do the same. You can involve this deep breathing technique with the jaw slightly open the whole time, using your tongue to control the breath. You get the best of both worlds. The relaxed jaw feel and the oxygenation of the blood to then give you relaxed feel. Now in the Tai Chi form, what we do is we go in, circle with me, and then press and breathe out harshly. So it's got a little, this is Chen style Tai Chi. There's different styles of Tai Chi. There's Yang style, which is all slow, and there's Chen style, which is slow then fast. Okay, so again, in, out. Let's circle the other direction, in, 
out. Notice how my stance is shifting side to side and my knees are only moving very little and my palms are pushing back and forth. Let's do it again. Circle one arc. Inhale. Exhale. Other direction. Again, one more. Back. Then we go one, two, we turn, we flick, and we come up this way, and we sink, and we circle. So there's a lot more to Tai Chi than just what we did. But we're starting slow in these videos. We're giving you little manageable chunks that you can bring into your practice. And as our channel gets more expansive and has more tutorials, we'll get more and more Tai Chi, and you guys will become masters of Tai Chi. Now, when we do the golf shot, we're going to breathe in. And when you exhale, coming through, breathe in. Exhale, coming through. And then when I go to the course and I hit my shot in the tournament, I'm going to be going inhale during my address position. Exhale smoothly as I go. Let's go to the course and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So one of the things I try to do when I'm taking the Tai Chi to the course is I don't want to look like a fool out on the course, okay? Because if I start thinking self-conscious thoughts, I'll even play worse, even if I'm using the Tai Chi principles. So I try to disguise my training and my skills while I'm on the range, while I'm on the course. And one of the best ways to do that is like we trained uh, earlier with the breathing. So part of the way I do that is I do the two-second breath we talked about earlier when I'm tying my shoes, when I'm uh, talking to my friends when I'm you know, uh, swinging the club, getting just loose on the range. When you're doing your, your yoga postures on the range, I just played in a Pepsi Tour event where uh, the guy was playing with won the event with a 63 and he did a whole yoga set on his towel. And it was a great opportunity for him to do his, uh, his breathing along with it. Okay? So some of the things I'll do is when I got my club, I'm just starting to kind of loosen up a little bit. I'll keep it smooth and I'll breathe in for two. Breathe out for two. I'll breathe in for two. And out for two. And nobody even knows you're doing it. That's the beautiful thing. So in and out. Maybe five, seven times. Until I'm forgetting about everything else and all I'm focused on is oxygenating my, my body, my blood. Finding that rhythm which is my breathing. Then I'll practice the ability to do the two second breath during the shot. Now here's the thing. When you do the two second breath during the shot, I don't do the two second breath on the exhale. I just go. But on the inhale, I do. So check it out. From here, I go back two second breath. in the nose, out the mouth. Again, in. Okay, two more. One more. Now, a couple things we talked about earlier. The tongue touching the roof of the mouth, the top of the palate, just behind the teeth. It's going to allow you to relax your jaw and thus relax your entire body. Tai Chi always has lips that are slightly parted during the breathing. So watch me one time. So I'm gonna breathe in, and then I'm gonna breathe out. My lips stay apart the whole time. Again. So I'm all relaxed inside here. So one more time with the swing. We're gonna go. One more. If I do this breathing when I'm putting on my golf shoes, if I do this breathing while I'm walking or riding in the cart between shots, if I do this breathing during my practice swings, during my stretch out and warm up, and then bring it into my actual shot, you are going to have the ability to breathe, oxygenate, and relax your body at will. And that's power on the golf course. So it's like a vacation in Tahiti whenever you want it because breathing 
actually scientifically relaxes the blood vessels. So even if you don't feel more relaxed, chemically and internally, you are. And then once I'm warmed up, I transfer the breath a little bit more, okay? So here's what I do when I do my full shot on the course. In the warm up, I first start breathing in for two, breathing out for two. Then I change that once I feel my rhythm, maybe five to 10 breaths on the range, I'll just sit there. Once I'm nice and warm, I do the two second backswing and then exhale completely on the follow through. Do five or 10 of those. But when I take it to the course and I do the actual shot, I breathe in once I'm ready to go. And I do a full exhale slowly as I do the complete swing. Let's try it again. One more. So breathing in. So breathing in. Breathing out. Let's hit one, see what we can do. So don't forget, we're gonna be breathing in three different sets. The slow breathing, two back, and two through. Then once we're feeling the rhythm, the warm up breathing, two back, exhale as we go through. And once we're ready for the full shot, breathing in while the club's in a dress position, breathing out while we go. And the entire time breathing to the Don Tien, like we talked about during the Tai Chi segment earlier. Don't forget that no amount of Tai Chi knowledge takes the place of hard practice, consistent practice every day. So go out to the course and practice these skills tomorrow, and I'll see you next time.